Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Alex Scott and we're talking Dragon Quest of the Stars today. You might notice that I am in a, a different location. I'm working in the little storage unit inside of my uh, apartment because I'm, I've built a little space here during the pandemic. I'm working from home and it's good to have a, a, a room with a door because I live in a pretty small apartment. Uh, so the quality might not be as high for sound, it might be a little more echoey and I apologize for that, but uh, we'll be back in the other space before too long, I'm sure. Uh, so I'm doing this video today to talk a little bit about uh, the producer Q&A that happened recently. And while that happens, I'm also going to be working on my main story quest here. So don't mind me. Uh, so we had this Q&A that was up on YouTube and it was kind of interesting because we got to hear from the creators of the game. And uh, I thought that was pretty neat. The questions were kind of weird. They weren't parsing them that well so there was just like a bunch of people asking for the plush that they had and then also people like asking technical like oh I might doesn't load on my phone what can I do or like can you add this impossible feature and all sorts of things that weren't going to happen but there were some important things that we also did learn from the Q&A so we're going to mainly be talking about that kind of stuff uh, so the first thing that they told us is that you know this is different from the Japanese server but the content in the Japanese server is already done like all the contents created so that means that we're going to get uh, content faster because they don't have to be working on it as hard the biggest barrier to us getting content is it being translated and there's a lot of text as you can tell in the story and some of the other modes that uh, that's obviously quite a bit of text to translate and I think they do a very good job translating the text as we uh, generally get a bit of humor and things aren't you know they don't read poorly like I think they do a good job so so we can give them a, a thumbs up for taking their time on translating that stuff properly so that's the good news is that we're gonna get a bunch of content it's gonna come uh, relatively fast compared to the Japanese release but we'll still have to wait they'll pace it out a little bit uh, so they also talked a little bit about um, collabs being a possibility so they, they did a, a Final Fantasy Mobius collaboration in Japan and that would be a kind of a weird one to do because Mobius is uh, ending it's a mo another mobile game if you haven't checked it out actually one of my favorites uh, but it's ending <laughs> in the summer so uh, it would be a weird collab to do but there's a lot of Final Fantasy and Square Enix content that we could be uh, collabing with or just in general with uh, with other games or shows or anything that you see in mobile games so I think that would be pretty neat to do uh, a collab at some point so we'll be hopefully be excited to see that they said well you know if the demand is there we're going to consider that kind of thing but uh clearly there's there is a demand so uh so in terms of uh new features they were talking a little bit about adding some stuff into the uh whatever's in the japanese version they're going to add into the global version so we just got the squirrel station which is would be the main uh other content like other feature that's in the game and there's one other one that we don't have yet, which is the Monster Arena. Now, I, I haven't played the Japanese version. And I don't know anything about the Japanese version, <laughs> but it sounds really cool. Monster Arena sounds kind of like a, a monster battler. So I'm hoping that that is something uh, that we get soon because I really want to check it out. Uh, so there are some other kind of interesting questions. Uh, pe people asked, is there going to be any new music because uh, they're tired of hearing the same music over and over? And they said they, well, they had two answers to that. The first being that, uh, you know, if you go and do the different events, there's diff some different music, some different songs. So that's uh, one option. And the other uh, thing is that we're on one planet right now. And when we move off this planet to a new one, because this is an interplanetary RPG, right? We're going to go eventually explore new planets. Well, they're going to have different map themes, different town themes. They're going to have all sorts of uh, new areas to explore. So that's when we'll probably see some new music, which means that it's likely not changing for now. So if you're playing on your computer, just run some Dragon Quest music like I am right now and you'll be just fine or uh, you can just play on mute if you really don't like the music. Uh, so we had some other questions for example are there going to be guilds uh, and to that they said no. There's no. There's no plans for anything. There's no plans for any features that weren't already aren't already in the Japanese version and if they have plans uh, new things for the Japanese version well we certainly didn't 
really hear about any of that from this so uh right now nothing like guilds or or like a clan system that would be implemented let's get this guy uh and then otherwise there's a lot of uh questions about the actual pace of the content and how how often it's going to come out uh and they basically said like every one to two weeks there's going to be an event added so i think that's pretty good if you're farming the events like I am, then you are going to uh, have plenty to do every day, especially if you're not just like crushing all the content. If you just use your zero stamina uh, quests and make sure you're, you know, completing your story and everything else, then you don't really need to need a ton of content. Like it's, I think the game's doing pretty well in terms of amount of uh, amount of content. So every couple weeks they're going to release a new event and there'll be lots of returning things like the upgrade hallways and the um the different metal slime banners and events and stuff so that's good uh they did say that they will create more end game content and maybe that's something we can look to japan to find out what that looks like uh or maybe it will be something new, who knows. Uh, but they did specifically say that they will look into creating more endgame content. Um, and that was pretty much pretty much it for the for the Q&A. Like, honestly, there was so many questions that were really uh, irrelevant. Like, there was just <laughs> random ones. It was kind of interesting. I don't know who was parsing the, the interview but either way uh it was i love that they did that i'm really grateful for it because you can learn just a, lots of really cool stuff uh so overall let's just finish this guy off uh overall uh just a good good thing to check in with the producers and uh yeah so i hope you learned something from this video uh in case you didn't watch the the whole video their video is like 20 30 minutes long so uh, and this one's only seven, so hopefully you got all the information that you needed and uh, you're ready to keep playing hard on the game. Okay, so we'll see you soon enough, and thanks again for coming in. Thank you so much for watching this video. You can check out my articles at themissidiapost.com and support my Patreon at patreon.com slash themissidiapost. Until next time, keep it real, Missidians.